the late Lieutenant Colonel Michael George, commonly known as Mike. Today, we gather not merely as a military community, but as a nation in mourning, paying tribute to a distinguished officer, Lieutenant Colonel Michael George. As we reflect on his illustrious, illustrious career, we are reminded that heroes are not only defined by their actions in the, on the battlefield, but by the impact they leave in the, in the heart of those who serve. Lieutenant Colonel Charles was a man of unparalleled dedication. And I say that for myself and my fellow officers. That is, that is undoubtful. He soared through the skies for over four decades. Four decades, 40 years, unimaginable. Unraveling the hidden beauty of our beloved Guyana through the lens of his camera. His passion for flying and serving the nation was not just a duty. The command in chief reinforces this morning, but a calling that he pursued with unwavering commitment. As Guyanese, what is the first thing that comes to mind when we see a helicopter in the sky? Michael Charles. As we reflect on the memories we share with Lieutenant Colonel Charles, it becomes clear that his impact on our lives spread far and beyond the confines of his profession. Mike was an embodiment of resilience, steadfastly refusing to let adverse, adversity cloud his, his determination. Mike Charles had a love for aviation and a romantic affair with the camera. A romantic affair with the camera. The marriage of these two passions gave birth to breathtaking video of Guyana's landscape. Lieutenant Colonel Michael Charles, famously called Mike Charles, was an officer of impeccable character and standards. His was a service that saw no boundaries. His was a service that saw no end. Mike will always be ready for any mission and every mission. But in that readiness, he always said, I'm not perfect. I am always learning, and he continued to learn his craft and to share that knowledge with the officers and men around him. I do recall vividly when we were about to purchase two Bell 206 helicopters. I was the chief of staff at the time, and we had some differences of opinion on whether we should buy these particular helicopters or others. Mike was by my side, encouraging me positively to look at the merits and demerits of the different types of helicopters, and we finally agreed on those two Bell 206 helicopters. And he led the team to ferry those helicopters to Guyana. 